happy monday and welcome back to get your life today is march the 13th and i come to you with good vibes blessings peace and wishing you a wonderful blessed day um this is the first day of daylight savings time so it just seems like time has kind of shifted a little bit it seems later than what it really is so I don't know this it's always hard coming back to work and getting back on schedule after a busy weekend um, when you have daylight savings time so it's gonna take a couple days for me to get used to it but um, you know in my opinion time is time is subjective to me because some people feel like like time is moving quickly. Some people feel like it's not. It all depends on where you are consciously. I think it all depends on where you are spiritually and where you are um, in terms of your, also your, your place in, in your life. So time has so many meanings. And again, time is subjective and it's objective. So I will um, probably doing be doing a video discussing time, Kairos time, Kronos time, dispensations as one of the other areas that I really love to talk about, um, especially when it comes to Kairos time, because Kairos time in the Bible and Kairos time spiritually is an appointed time. It is a time that you cannot use physical time to apply it to. And it is it's a special time. It is a dedicated time for you to meet with destiny for you to meet with a appointed time or appointed situation that is meant specifically for your life and you cannot use the Gregorian calendar when it comes to measuring chronos I mean yeah when, when it comes to measuring Kairos time but when it comes to chronos time yes you can use the Gregorian calendar you can use governmental time you can use daylight savings time you can spring forward you can spring backwards but when it comes to the time of the most high God that time cannot be calculated or measured so remember that and we're also living in a time quantum a quantum quantumly spiritually um I can't put my finger on the word I want to use, but this time that we are in right now, there is a frequency, there is a velocity, and time is speeding up. So that's why it's so important to know and discern the times and seasons that you are in, because if you blink, everything will pass you by, because things are moving at such an accelerated pace. So it is very important to discern the seasons and times that we're living in, and yes, I will be doing a video on that. So don't forget matter of fact i'm going to write that down right now so let's jump back into this video because speaking of time i'm on a time crunch because i'm on my lunch break <laughs> so um let me write this down we're going to be doing a video on time quantum time chronos time and discerning the seasons that we are living in and the days and time and it's important to know the days and times that we're living in so you can act and move accordingly because this is what march 13th and it is 225 2023 we are in daylight savings time according to the government 10 minutes from now an hour from now something's gonna happen and you're gonna be like wow what happened how'd that happen that was fast you know things are moving expo exponentially so with that being said let's jump right into this video so we won't waste any more time <laughs> so recap really quickly yesterday i did a video on faith i believe that was part two of chapter three for thinking we're rich and we are continuing in chapter three i have to break it up because it is so very meaty and i promise you it's going to make sense by the time we're finished with this chapter so we know that faith is a state of mind which can be induced or created by affirmations and what are affirmations affirmations are repeated instructions to the subconscious mind i am rich i am the head and not the tail we learn this um you know growing up in the church we always speak affirmations because we know your words like we said in the last video your words have the power to destroy or the power to construct your world your words 
are your guide. Your words are your creative canvas. Your words are your tool, okay? So without your words, you cannot create. Without your words, you cannot construct your reality. Your mind, your subconscious mind, we, we said in the last video, is the seat of all your habits. It is the reason why you do what you do, why you do it, how you do it, who you do it with. It is the reason for your very existence. Your, your conscious mind, which is your waking mind, this is the mind that people tend to put a lot of emphasis on, but your, your, your conscious mind it just means that you have, you have the ability to think. It doesn't mean that it doesn't mean that you're doing what you're doing because of your conscious mind. No, it, your conscious mind essentially is, is the driver of the car. The GPS is your subconscious. Your GPS tells you where to go, when to go, how to get there. That is your subconscious mind. If you want to use an allegory, your GPS is your subconscious mind. And I point to the back of my head because this is almost like a data bank. And in computers, we know that the CPU is the main part of the computer. The CPU is the brain of the computer. The CPU usually today is built inside of the monitor. We used to have a separate part, which was the, you know, that box part that sits upon your desk. But technology has advanced so much, we just put the computer in the what? The back of the CPU in the back of the monitor. So that's why I point to the back of my head because your subconscious is your computer, is your CPU. This is responsible for storing, editing, habits, everything that you do on a daily basis, your program, your routine, if you will, okay? So now that we have that established, then we talk about auto-suggestion. Um, Napoleon Hill was very big on discussing auto-suggestion. Let me turn this heat down because auto-suggestion it, it clearly denotes that everything that you speak, this goes back again to your words. You know, the Bible says, Proverbs 18, 21, the power of life is in your tongue. The power of death and life is in your tongue. The Most High created the world in seven days. He spoke what? The world into existence, okay? He spoke life. He spoke, he spoke his reality. He wanted to create. The Most High is the greatest creator ever, 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 that ever lived or ever existed. The Most High is the ultimate creator. He is sovereign over this entire world because he created this world. Again, if you're here to debate that, please do not continue to watch my videos because I'm not here to debate creation. I am a believer in creation and I believe that the Most High is the 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 uh, progenitor, or excuse me, he is the reason for this third dimensional experience or this existence that we are currently in. So that is my belief. And if you don't agree with it, then again, this is not the channel for you. So as we move on, auto-suggestion, mind over matter, convincing yourself, yes, I am the head and not the tail. Yes, I am beautiful. Yes, I'm a single black woman. I am smart. I'm educated. Yes, I have so much life in front of me. I have so many things to do. I am going places. I'm doing things. You have to program your mind to think positive things. Now, if you want to be negative, that's on you, Okay. I don't know many people who choose who choose to be negative only because their mind has not been reformed. They do choose negativity. It's probably because of past traumas. But again, that's another video. You know me. That's another video for another time. <laughs> but on this channel, we choose life. We choose positivity. And my whole mantra, my whole, uh, my whole approach is to transform minds because my mind is in the process of being transformed. This is transformative thinking and this channel is all about um, leveling up in your mind, your spirit, and in your consciousness, okay? So, power of, the power of life is in your tongue. The power of death is in your tongue. Choose wisely, okay? Faith is a state of mind which you may develop at will through the application of principles we will be discussing in the next um, 10 chapters, just 13 and all. And again, faith is developed voluntarily through will, application, and desire. Your will is your heart. Your will is your heart. Why do you want to do what you do? Why do you want to go to school? Why do you want to get married? Why do you why do you want to think destructively? Why do you want to hate on somebody? Why do you want to be an enemy? Why do you want to be the CEO? Now, you notice that I'm using negative and positive um, examples. Why do you want to fight that girl? Why do you want to sleep with that married? That, why do you want to sleep with that married man? Okay, 
That's real talk. Okay? Why are you doing what you're doing? Because of what? Your subconscious. That's your will. So again, on this channel, what we're going to do is what? Transform the will. Because your heart is at the seat of everything. The heart and the mind. The mind is a head chemist, right? I'm sorry, I'm sweating. It's kind of warmer here. Okay? Your head is a head chemist. We discussed that last chapter, the last video. Excuse me, the last video. And also... Your heart is the seat of all your emotions. The Bible says, out of the heart, what? The mouth speaks. So your mouth is speaking what's in your heart. That's your will and your desires. Faith is developed through your heart, which is your will. Faith is developed through application. So application is usually the hardest part because what? You got to sit down. You got to take your time out. Okay, why am I thinking like this? Why am I thinking negatively? Why am I not getting ahead in life? I'm not thinking positively. I'm not transforming my mind. I keep doing the same thing over and over and over again, which is what? Insanity. I got to stop it. I got to stop it. I have to what? Stop doing what I'm doing so I can move ahead. Move me forward by fire. Oh God, move me what? Forward by fire. That is what? Applications. Those are affirmations. Got another affirmation video coming up. I'm working on it. I'm talking fast because I got to watch my time. <laughs> so again, faith is developed through what? Your will. Application, which is the work. The inner work you got to do to transform your mind and desire. Desire, again, is connected to your heart and your mind because without desires, you cannot have any definite chief aims. You cannot have any definite goals or plans. You need a what? A desire. And desires are persistent. They must be persistent in order for you to move forward. So here we are. How do you develop faith? How do you develop faith? Okay. Thank you for asking. Okay. Okay great question because faith is a thing that many many people either don't believe in they struggle with or they they are very very good at at working their faith so you got a few types of people when it comes to faith they don't know about it they reject it they may not even think that it exists and then you have people who really use it to their advantage and they work it and they apply it I want to be the last one. I want to be the one who works my faith, who applies it, because it is nearly, it's pretty, it's impossible. No, it is impossible to live in this third dimensional existence without faith. It is impossible. So faith requires a repetition of affirmations. I am the head, I'm not the tail. I am going to get A's in all of my classes. I am a dynamic mother. I'm going to be a great wife. I'm going to be a great leader. I'm going to get my dream job. I'm going to do well with my videos. I'm going to touch people. I'm going to transform. I am going to do great things. I am a millionaire. You are a millionaire. But you got to do the work that gets to that point. Right? Now, that's another thing I want to say. When you speak these affirmations, just don't, don't expect for things to appear out the sky. It don't work like that. This is not no fairy tale. This is not magic. This is not... Um, uh, hocus pocus okay now there are some people who do believe in magic but not on this channel no then there's ceremonial magic that's another video too. <laughs> so again let's come back you need to do the work you have to speak life you have to speak the affirmations and you have to do what you have to have the will the desire and you have to do the applications if you remain in contact with something long enough guess what Guess what's going to happen? You're going to what? Embrace it. You're going to be influenced by it. When you remain in contact with what? The word. Say the word of God. Guess what? It starts getting into your mind. Now what? Your subconscious is being programmed. That's why the word says meditate on the word day and night. That comes from any book. Any book or any subject matter. It, it, could, be, it could be the Quran. If you, if you read the Quran, that's great. You have to do what? Meditate on it. But on, on the purposes of this channel, I, pro, I promote the Bible, the Word of God. I promote um, um, higher realms of thought, spiritual thinking. Um, a lot of the, the concepts that are in um, Islam and Buddhism um, come from Christian Christianity. So if that's your thing, that's you. Okay? But here we're going to discuss the Word of God. And I talk about the Most High. And if you remain in contact with something long enough, guess what happens? You become... And you imbibe that word. When you imbibe something, you do what? Like I'm drinking this water. I'm ingesting it. 
It's going into my body. It's nourishing my cells. You remain in contact with this water. It's going to do what? It's going to hydrate you. It's going to make your skin clear. Right? It's going to nourish you. It's going to provide for you. It's going to sustain you. It's going to grow your hair, your nails. And it's going to do everything it needs to do. I put some lemons and some limes in here. Stay in contact with the faith. Stay in contact with your water. Stay in contact with the things that are good for you. Stay in contact with the word of the Most High God. Stay in contact with those who love you. Stay in contact with those who support you, who love you, who, who, who provide for you. Love on them. Stay in contact with them. Okay? Now, impulses of thought. Impulses of thought we discussed in chapter one. Impulses of thought. Um, impulses of thought are known as the vibrations. And what happens when I'm thinking positive? Okay, let's just think of one thing. Okay, I'm the head, I'm not the tail. I'm above and not beneath. Um, I'll keep talking about my new home, right? Okay, I'm, I'm working on my home purchase. Okay, okay, so what? I know the homes that I want. I'm looking at them. I'm driving through neighborhoods. I see that home. I see my, my library because I want a library. Um, I see my bedroom. My bedroom's just going to be for me. You know, I'm not going to put anything else in there. So I'm going to separate my desk and my library outside of my, my room, right? I have a designated room that I want to do my work, my writings, my videos, everything is going to have its place. I see the, the, the deck. I see the garage. I see the laundry room. I see the basement. Impulses of thought repeatedly pass on to the subconscious mind. Now, that house, that vision is in my subconscious mind. I already know what I want, right? And now what? It's passed on to my subconscious mind. My subconscious mind has accepted it. Okay, she's going to have this house. This is what she wants. I even know the colors of the walls. I know what, what kind of like fixtures I'm putting in my bathroom. I am into it, okay? Now my subconscious mind is going to act on it. And it proceeds to translate that impulse into its physical equivalent. Now what? The manifestation comes, right? Again, this is not hocus pocus. There is work to be done from the impulse of thought from the time that it gets what? Equivalated to the physical world. This is the most practical procedure. So what do you have to do? This is the work, right? You can't just say, I want this, I want that. You got to do the work. And that's where faith comes in. Remember that all thoughts which have been emotionalized, given feeling, I'm giving feeling to this thought. You can feel it, right? I'm being very, very expressive. I'm being very emphatical. I'm being very, very uh, articulate, right? Because I'm excited. I'm thinking about this house. I'm thinking about, you know, I can't wait to even move my, I even see myself packing all my stuff up out of my apartment right now and moving into my house. That's how, that's how serious I am. So I'm giving emotion. I'm giving feeling, right? So what are you giving feeling and emotion to today? What do you want so bad? You gotta have faith to get it. So you gotta do what? Mix with faith. And now, and now these thoughts are gonna translate themselves into their physical equivalent, but it's gonna take time. You have to manifest it. You have to sit with yourself. You have to think about it. It takes some work because emotions give thoughts life, action, and vitality. Emotions are the feelings of thought, therefore love, Faith and sex mixed with thought, impulse, and give greater action than emotions do singly. I'll say that again. Faith, love, and sex. Sex is an emotion. All of those give impulses and they give greater action to the emotions. This means that whatever you think, positive or negative, mixed with faith will reach and influence what? The subconscious mind. Therefore, the subconscious mind will translate into that physical manifestation. The mind only acts on what you program it. I'll say that again. Whatever you speak, your mind, your subconscious mind will act on it, whether it's negative or positive. That's why it's so important to think neg excuse me, to think positive thoughts. The subconscious mind doesn't know the difference between negative or positive, bad or good. All it's doing is just recording. It's recording right now. It's recording right now. We are the creators of our world. You are a creator of your reality. So create your reality accordingly today. Your faith determines the action of your subconscious mind. I'll say it again. Your faith determines the actions 
of your subconscious mind. So where is your faith? The Most High would ask that all the time as I close this video. The Most High God would say, where is your faith? Where is your faith? You know, the disciples couldn't perform any miracles. They couldn't cast out demons. They couldn't do a lot of things because what? They didn't have the faith. And you too, you can do anything you want. This is the greatest time that we are alive to create. You can create anything you want. Anything. Where's your faith? Where's your faith? You can't cast out no demons without faith. You can't cast out demons without having power and faith. Faith is a form of power. Where's your faith? Work your faith today. You must conduct yourself as if you already possess with you what you believe. What do you believe today? Work your faith. Thank you for watching this video. I will see you in the next part of chapter three. Think and Grow Rich, chapter three. Faith of the book and audiobook series, Think and Grow Rich by Napoleon Hill. Work your faith, get your faith, and get your life more abundantly. Thank you for watching and have a wonderful, blessed day. See you in the next video. Work your faith.